everyone, it's George Kuros, and I just want to do a really quick tutorial, something that uh, would be a great way to start the year, and something that I actually partook in and had the pleasure of implementing as a principal, and this is about the idea of Identity Day. Now, Identity Day actually started at my school, but it wasn't my idea. It was actually my assistant principal at the time, Cheryl Johnson, who had started it, and to be honest with you, probably one of my favorite days in education ever and really great way to set the tone and I know a lot of people are about to start the year no matter you're blended remote face to face it's an awesome way to actually start and what actually is it identity day is simply this it's asking students what they're passionate about and give them the opportunity to actually share that with others and when I saw that we did with our students we had a hundred percent completion every year because when you ask kids to share something they're excited and passionate about um, they're gonna they're, they're gonna want to share it with the world and it's a really powerful way to not only set the tone for the year but to really get to know your students and actually connect with them and take what you learn about them through that process and connect and share it within your curriculum and adapt it that way so i'm just going to show you like a really quick idea on how we can start an identity day using something like flipgrid now this will work whether you're remote face-to-face -face, blended doesn't matter but flipgrid is a really great way to get students to answer some questions as they prepare their identity day projects so before I just show you some tips and tricks on how to you know start an identity day using Flipgrid and I know there's a million tutorials on using Flipgrid and I actually just want to make this specifically to identity day maybe the way that I would actually do it I just want to show you these questions first and these are questions that were actually created after we did identity day it's lots of schools all over the world started actually doing it uh, from Paula Nagel, things that you could actually ask your students uh, with these questions. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually put this in the link down below in the co in, in the in the comments down below so you can actually see um, this this document and and take it and adapt it and make it work however uh, you would want to do it with your students. So uh, even with Flipgrid you can't write maybe those entire questions uh, in that space, but there's ways that you can actually do it. And I'll show you right away. So what I would do is I, if you're in Flipgrid, instead of doing this as a topic, I would actually do this as a group. And the reason I would do it as a group, you can have something on identity day, then ask multiple questions um, through that process. So I'm just gonna actually go to create a group and I'm gonna actually list it as public um, just because, but you can do it you know, with your students, however you like. And I'm just gonna call it identity day and instead of just using the default code, I'm gonna add identity day at the end. So cross identity day, and then I'm gonna click it. You can see, to find this, you go to flipgrid.com slash identity day. So I'm gonna click on next, and it's gonna ask me uh, if there's some topics that I've shared, but I actually haven't made any uh, for this yet because I wanted to do it from scratch. So I've created that group and made that nice custom URL ready to go so it's easy to find. And especially if you're doing it with a public group, I think that's a really easy way to pe for people to find it. And it's actually really memorable and something that you're gonna <laughs> be able to use later. So for example, if I left the default, and it's flipgrid.com slash Kuros39784. I'm not gonna remember that, but I'm gonna easily remember slash Kuros Identity Day. So now that I've actually made this group, it gives me uh, some op options to make topics. And so if you go to here, uh, where it says add topic, I'm gonna start with that first question that Paula shared, um, what is your passion? And I'll put that there. And then I wanna put some uh, instructions, on what to do here. And obviously I'm not filling this out uh, fully for you because I want this to be really quick. Just kind of give you some ideas. The one thing that I really appreciate this, uh, about this, is the ability to actually choose the amount of time that somebody can actually respond. So I, I really like the one minute um, amount of time. And to be honest, you, you know, a lot of kids use TikTok. They're used to the one minute time frame, and it actually encourages people responding to be really concise uh, in what they're sharing. So I'm going to stick with that 
uh, one minute uh, time limit. And then you choose video moderation. If you want that on, that you, can, you will approve everything you, you're doing. And so if I'm doing like a public one, I might actually want to uh, choose this moderation, but the more you moderate, the more work it's gonna be. So it's dependent upon your class, um, where you are in the year, and that's something that you might wanna do. And then what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna choose to just kind of record a video just to kind of give some instructions on what to do and what I think would be really great and I think is actually necessary if you're doing this with students for you as an educator to actually go through that response as well. So I'm gonna actually just, you know, I'm not gonna record a video here obviously because you're all watching, uh, you know, in depth, but I actually record my video and then uh, share, you know, hey, here's my passion. Here's something I love. I love basketball. It's one of my favorite sports ever since I was a kid. I was growing up um, and, and wanted to play, et cetera, et cetera. Share my response. And then you can actually, with the options as you go through this uh, next, you can actually watch the video and you can put some things like, and I can put, uh, I'm gonna do this nice little selfie here and see if that actually works. Oh, well, that's probably not the best selfie. My hair is all over the place, but whatever. Go to next. And it's gonna upload the video and I'm gonna share it in this space. Now I'm gonna delete this video later because obviously I'm just doing this for a tutorial just to kind of show you through the process. Um, and then uh, what I'm gonna actually do once I have that, once I have that opportunity and share this, I create the topic it's ready to go and it has its own little code and we are ready to go on this topic now there's one last thing when your students go to record a response i just want to show you real quick and i'm not going to record a response obviously to this you have that one minute time frame but these are things i really appreciate about this if you actually um, look here and i'm going to redo this because i want to actually um, I want to actually show you some of the options. Instead of actually asking students to record themselves, some students might not feel comfortable and that's totally fine. And what I love about this is you can actually choose the record screen and they can maybe have like a visual, a picture or something like that to share something that they're actually interested in without feeling the pressure of being on a screen. We have this notion that, you know, all of our students have grown up with this technology. They're super comfortable. But I think it's really important to honor and to share how important that is. So you record this and then they can have the responses. And what's beautiful, you go through all the responses, see what people share. And what I would actually do, and this isn't really a Flipgrid tutorial as much as it is about kind of starting your own identity day. What I would actually do is say to our students, hey, like you need to respond to like five other students in this class and to make sure that we're watching each other because this is not only about having the opportunity you know to share um the things that the, the share the things that i uh, am passionate about i think more importantly it's to actually learn what others are passionate about as well and it gives us a really great opportunity for us to know our students for our students to know each other it's a really great opportunity flipgrid is just one of the ways you can do this especially if you start the year off remote or blended uh, but if even if you're face to face it's a great way to prepare for a project what we actually did with our school uh, um, we would have kindergarten grade six and then you would have the kindergarten students have their own space and they would actually share uh, their passion project every grade one two three four five six student would come through and then uh, they would talk about it share some of their things and then the grade ones would actually have their turn and then all the students would go through have conversations really great way to build community really great way to learn the passions of our students and tap into them and something i'll tell you that um, no matter the space it can make an amazing difference to uh, the culture and the community for the, for the beginning of the year or whatever time you choose to do this. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.